Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to laser cut some felt. I recently got a very big project laser cutting felt and as it's been almost two years since I made any video regarding felt, I thought it was a good time to get around to actually making an updated one. Now this is obviously not the project that we did, that was under, covered under NDAs, but I did a little palm tree and some circles and stuff just to give you an idea of what we can actually do with a laser when it comes to felt. Now something to keep in mind with felt is that it's very very fragile. So I wouldn't use this stuff for stencils uh, but it sews incredibly well and you can see the precision that we get if I get the focus working here is absolutely perfect. The advantage to using our laser over scissors is that this would be pretty much impossible to do with any other way uh, other than a laser. And that gets even more extreme so because we've got to make like a thousand units like this here. Uh, doing one with scissors you could probably get away with, but doing a thousand of them you literally just go nuts because it's just the same thing over and over again. That's where the advantage of the CNC comes in place because it doesn't, it doesn't care if there's one or a million of uh, whatever you want laser cut out of felt. Um, it'll just do it and do a very precise job from the first to the millionth. Now there are some drawbacks to using a laser to laser cut felt over scissors. The biggest one is burning. There's no way around it. This stuff is very fragile and there are ways to mask it to lessen the burning but it doesn't come very, become very cost effective because it's just so labor intensive to remove it and it can also damage the felt. So here's the front of it here. As you can see, you saw that earlier. And it looks really, really good. You can't see any burning on the front. On the back, there is a little bit of burning on this one here. 
Now this one doesn't have as much burning as the palm tree and the palm tree is very highly detailed. It's, it's probably higher resolution than the material can handle. It's a bit harder to hold as a result. Let me just try to bring it here. So there you go. You have the palm tree. These leaves, as you can see, are very highly detailed. And because they're highly detailed, you get a little bit of the burning just because the laser is going over the same, not the same area, but very close to the previous cutting area. So the smoke just sort of builds up on the back of the material. So let me show you the front here, which should be totally acceptable. Now let's take a look at the back, which is where you see some of the burning. So you can see along the edges, there's a little bit of burning, but it's very minor. And again, you have to keep this into consideration that generally what our customers do with felt is that they sew it to other fabric. So you would never see the burning because it would be on the backside of whatever you're, whatever you're working on. The advantage of our process here is that everything is on demand. So for instance, let's say you had, you know, 25 palm trees, 30 cats, 40 camels, all that kind of stuff. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. The laser will do one at a time. The other advantage to using a laser over scissors is let's say you wanted this scaled up uh, so that the C was roughly a meter in size, but exactly the same as this smaller one here. That's not a problem for me again with the laser to do that while doing it by hand. It gets very, very sore and very difficult to do, especially with such a, a fabric that's so fragile as felt. It's very easy to rip and it's very easy to tear. So the laser is a non-contact process, which means that it never actually touches the material. It's just a beam of light or energy, I guess, shooting straight down and cutting through the material. So if you have a custom felt job that you need done, contact me at cncri.com. Literally any size, any shape, any material uh, when it comes to felt. Uh, we can do the thicker felt, we can also do the thinner felt. What I have noticed over time is that the darker the color of the felt, the less you see the burning, if that is an issue for you. So don't go with white felt because you'll see the, the darkening around the edges uh, on the back side. But if you go with something that's black, brown, uh, red, dark brown, you know, dark blue, you'll be totally fine. You'll never even see it.